Good afternoon, everyone. It's Pastor Frank here again, First Baptist Estero, and I'm glad to be joining you this afternoon, Wednesday, March 25th. I've um, been enjoying the, uh, well, I can't honestly say I've been enjoying the, uh, all this corona stuff. Uh, I'm not altogether comfortable being in front of the camera, but uh, I'm thankful for many of you who are praying for me as I step out of my comfort zone. I wanted to assure everybody that today, uh, God is at work. He's doing amazing things, even when we don't recognize it. Take, for example, if you walked outside, the wind is blowing. I don't know where in the world it's coming from. It goes where it wants to, is what Jane, or John chapter 3, verse 8 says. And, uh, we don't know where it's going. We just see the effects of it. And God is working too. I believe He's calling us to pray more, to trust Him more, to put Him first, take seriously the opportunities before us, and to share with everyone that we can about the hope of Christ. So don't be discouraged. Don't give up. Don't grow weary. I just want to encourage you to know that uh, we're going to get through this together. I'm reminded of a young preacher that uh, many years ago was preaching uh, in, a, in a venue much like a barn. And in that setting, there was one person that came to faith in Christ. This man who's preaching, his name was James Morris. And he was faithful to keep sharing um, the truth of the love of Christ. And he was sharing a simple message from Ephesians chapter 2, verse 13 that says, But now, in Christ Jesus, you who formerly were far off from Him were brought near by the blood that uh, Jesus shed. It's through the blood that we have uh, redemption. And it's through Jesus that we have hope. There's safety, security, reassurance. In times like this, it'll do your heart good if you just simply speak the name of Jesus. Try it. Even right now. Nobody's around. Nobody's looking. Say it with me. Jesus, just ask Him. Lord, help me. I need you. Tell Him. If you're feeling anxiety, maybe you've been watching too much news. Turn it off for a little while. And let's just think about Jesus. He's perfect and faithful and loving. And through Christ, we have refuge and comfort. In fact, as James Morris preached that message, there was a young 16-year-old who heard these scriptures. And you know what? It touched him in the heart. Ironically enough, his whole world had been shaken. There was an earthquake that had just taken place prior to him hearing this message. Sometimes our world gets shaken. And hopefully what we'll do is turn to God and allow Him to do something amazing in us. It was miraculous. This young 16-year-old, he gave his life to Christ and he was radically changed. And as he grew, he grew in faith and knowledge and he wasn't ashamed of the gospel. Romans chapter 1, 16 talks about how we shouldn't be ashamed of the gospel. First, the power of God for salvation. For everyone who believes to the Jew first and also to the Greek. He extends all to all people, all backgrounds, the amazing love of God. So the Holy Spirit can speak in and through, even in a setting, in a barn, for a young man to come to faith in Christ, this man named Augustus Top Lady. You know what? You're going to recognize some of the stuff he did in his life because he wrote hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands of sermons, but he also was a poet. And uh, he was known for many of the songs that he wrote too. In just a moment, if I feel uh, you know, like nobody's watching, I'll, I'll maybe I'll sing a little bit of one of the songs he wrote. But think about this. If you're like me, oftentimes you think, I don't think I can do much for the kingdom of God. I don't think there's much that I can offer. But I want you to know that if you will make yourself available, trust God and be available for Him, He'll work through you. You know, in the book of Numbers, chapter 22, 28, there's a story about a man named Balaam. He had a donkey that... God spoke through even a donkey. And I promise you that if God can minister and speak through a donkey, well, you finished the rest because uh, He probably can speak through many of you too. Um, let me skip down a little bit and I'll tell you what Augustus' top lady had happened in his life. As a young 16-year-old, not long after giving his life to Christ, he felt the call to ministry. And he did. He began to preach. Like I said, thousands of messages sermons and you know what one day there's a story that says that uh, way back in 1763 he was walking home and there was a sudden violent thunderstorm and at first it seemed like you know what there was no place to get refuge no place to find shelter and off in the distance he sees a, a rock 
hanging out over the ledge, just underneath, and it's just tall enough for him to stand there and wait the storm out under the cleft of that rock. Well, you probably know where I'm going. I've already given you the title of the song that he wrote. When he began to write down these words, Rock of Ages, cleft from me, let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from thy riven side did flow. Be of sin, the double cure, cleanse me from this guilt and power. He cleanses us through, through and through. That's what God does. And so what Paul has stressed in the book of Ephesians, uh, what was preached, and this young man heard the message, may you hear today, that God stresses that we today need to recognize that uh, we were once alienated and distant from God. And in Ephesians 2, Paul is speaking of the Gentiles. And, and many of us today, as you watch this, it doesn't matter who you are, what your background is, but even if you're a Gentile like me, God reaches out to you. And so this, in its essence, is the difference that uh, Christ has made. He, he reaches us from afar off, and, and we come near. And so as I've spoken to many of you in recent days, some of you feel like um, God's far away, but I promise you He's not. The language far and near is in the Bible referring to Israel's relationship with God over and over again. And as Christians today, God has made available to us through the blood of Christ to be in Christ. That means you can't get any closer. He's, he's right there. He's not going to abandon us. And just like God didn't abandon Israel, He's near to us as well. And so what we're going to do in these days is resist the temptation the devil puts before us. Resist it. Resist it. The resistance will fight off anxiety and fear. It'll help us to remain focused and, and steadfast and confident that God is faithful and that through Jesus, who we refer to oftentimes, the Bible says he's the Prince of Peace. He brings peace to us right where we are. And so I just want to encourage you today to know this. Um, and I've never said this before. But in recent days, I understand that um, uh, the Pope had even said that due to the virus, uh, stay home and pray, and you can pray directly to God the Father. And uh, I'm paraphrasing, but uh, he's accurate. He's spot on. We don't have to go to anybody. We don't have to go to any certain place. From the ends of the earth, we can call on his name, and he hears us. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 18 says, For through him we have both we have access uh, uh, to one spirit and uh, also to the Father. So we have access directly to God the Father. And so I want to encourage you, wherever you are right now, call on His name. Cry out to God and let Him minister to you. Father, thank You for this time. Thank You for allowing us to hear You. Thank You for um, each and every person that uh, has uh, heard Your message today. May we be eternally transformed and encouraged in our faith. In Jesus' name I pray.